What's going on guys, Arrow here, and welcome to the very first video of 2019. I'm definitely very excited for this year, and I'm looking forward to having another awesome year for the channel. 2019 is going to be an amazing year, not even in terms of just video games, but rather just entertainment in general. There's going to be so many awesome movies coming out this year with TV shows and video games. It's going to be a ton of fun, so I can't wait to have another awesome year with you guys. But yeah, we're going to be kicking off 2019 with actually something very interesting, and that's in regards to the brand new Pokemon game that's going to be coming out this year. Now you guys know right now that every single Pokemon fan is pretty much just anticipating the 2019 Pokemon games as these Pokemon games are going to be an entire new generation for the first time on the Nintendo Switch in high definition. It's going to be really awesome and I know everybody is looking forward to it. And so the thing that I want to discuss with you guys today is about a potential leak or rumor in regards to these brand new games. Now you guys already know I don't cover every single leak under the sun, I pretty much only cover leaks that I find very interesting and I really want to talk to you guys about, or some leaks that have a little bit of credibility to it or something is kind of fishy about them that kind of makes me want to cover them. But if it's just some random leak that's saying like, you know, this is going to be the new region, this is the new Pokemon and stuff like that, usually I'll just ignore it, I won't really cover every single leak that I ever get. But in regards to the information that I have here, it is pretty interesting and I really do want to give you guys my thoughts on it. But before we get started, I want to let you guys know about the special giveaway that I'm having to start off the brand new year. And so I am going to be giving away a full year of the Nintendo Switch online service. And so if you guys want to have a chance to win that, then all you got to do is click the link in the description. I'll also make it the pinned comment of this video. And you'll basically have the online on Nintendo Switch for the entire year. And even if you already have online right now, you can pretty much stack it as well. So if you win, you could have it for two more years basically if you already have it for a year now. So it's really good. I know a a lot of people don't like paying for the Nintendo Switch online and I know a lot of people don't have it so it's definitely a good way to be able to have a chance to getting it and there's definitely going to be amazing online games that are coming out this year like Pokemon's 8th generation so definitely be sure to enter that if you want to have a chance to win. Alright so if we take a look at the information here it says that the names are going to be Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter and the person even clarified by saying yes these are the actual names not Pokemon King and Pokemon Queen. Then it says here that it takes place in England and that there's going to be an X and Y style type of trailer that goes through various locations, the starter Pokemon and the box legendaries. So that's very similar to X and Y. If you guys remember that reveal trailer, we got to see Xerneas and Eveltal. We got to see the three starter Pokemon and then they kind of just gave it like a couple seconds of like various locations in the game. Like we got to see a few towns and cities and stuff like that. So apparently that's what the reveal trailer for this is also going to be like. The starters are a rabbit, sheep and dolphin. And so a dolphin Pokemon is one that I know everybody wants right now, like a lot of people still want a dolphin Pokemon, because we technically don't have any dolphin Pokemon yet, so it would be really cool to have a dolphin starter Pokemon, obviously that would probably be the water one, and then I would say that the rabbit is probably the fire one, because if you guys don't know, the fire Pokemon seem to be all going off of the Chinese Zodiac, pretty much all the starter fire Pokemon that we have are based off of the Chinese Zodiac, so I would probably think that because the rabbit is on there, the rabbit is probably the fire starter, and that leaves sheep as the grass one. So that's what it says here apparently in terms of starters. It says here that the box legendaries are a thorn spider and a butterfly. And then it says other stuff that I've noticed. Uh, the male trainer looks almost identical to Platinum or the veteran from Black and White with slight variations. Uh, Big Ben is also seen although I'm sure that it's named a little differently. Riding Pokemon is back as I saw a female trainer riding a Noivern around a ferris wheel. London Eye I presume. Gyms seem to be returning and appear to be more expansive locations like Sun and Moon's Trials rather than buildings. These include an underwater cavern, a jungle with the purple poison puddles and the trainer sneaks around them for some reason, an electric grid, and even a stone castle that has a Jardigan hanging off a tower. These are seen in rapid succession, although the last one may be a quest location. The Direct is supposedly dropping on New Year's Day or sometime after with a reveal in a week or two depending on the timing. So there's a lot of information here, but if we take a look at all this information here, the reason that I'm even covering all of this is because of the names. Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter, there's actually a lot of little things here that kind of hint as to maybe this being true. Now the first thing that I want to show you guys is this picture that was posted by Mr. James Turner. Now if you guys don't know James Turner, he is a designer at Game Freak. He's designed a few Pokemon like Vanillish, like Poipole, and he posted this image on Twitter on New Year's Day, basically just welcoming the new year. And it's a pretty funny picture here, you can see like there's a lot of Pokemon here, but the thing that people find really interesting is that there is a crown on top of Pikachu. Now of course when people saw this they began hyping up Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter and I really think that this is just a coincidence. I think that Mr. James Turner was just drawing an image for the new year and he wanted to have a celebration going on and he just put a crown on top of Pikachu. I really don't think that it's hinting at anything but at the same time we have seen developers from Game Freak, especially Mr. Masuda, hint at things in terms of their games before. Like right before Pokemon Sun and Moon, Mr. Masuda actually posted a picture on Twitter about how he said like that the moon and the sun were out at the same time. That was very interesting for him but obviously he was alluding to Pokemon Sun and 
and Moon, which got announced literally a few days later. So there have been times where they do this, and like I think even recently last year with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, Mr. Masuda posted an image of like a Pikachu and an Eevee together, and that pretty much hinted at Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So it's very likely that this could be hinting at Pokemon Crown or Pokemon Scepter, but the thing is, I just wouldn't expect it to be coming from Mr. James Turner. It would probably be like a bigger developer at Game Freak, probably like Mr. Masuda. Now the next thing is that if we take a look at that same picture once again, the really interesting thing is that if we take a look at the Guzzlord in the picture, when the Guzzlord is eating the 2018 image, the colors that are in 2018 are actually the same colors of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Like the orange is obviously Solgaleo, and then like that bluish purplish color is Lunala. And then the new colors that we have here for 2019 are green and pink. So maybe those could in fact be like the colors that are going to be represented with the legendary Pokemon or the logos for the brand new generation 8 games that are going to be coming out this year. Now one of the more interesting things that I want to talk to you guys about is in regards to the holiday merch that came out for Pokemon last year. Now if you guys don't know by now, every single year during the holiday time around like Christmas, Pokemon has their own like holiday merch that comes out, it's like their special holiday themed merchandise. And they usually try to have like a different theme going on every single year, but a lot of people notice that these themes seem to be hinting at their future generations. So like if we take a look here, the Pokemon Holiday merch that came out in 2015 was a lot of like vacation clothing and tropical stuff and that pretty much hinted at the Alola region that came out in 2016 with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Now if we take a look at the Holiday merch from 2017, you can see that there's a Pikachu and that there's an Eevee and there's actually a few merchandise things here with like Pikachu and Eevee and so a lot of people believe that maybe that was in fact hinting at Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee which released last year. And then if we take a look at the merchandise once again, the holiday merchandise that came out last year in 2018 had a lot of stuff with like crowns and scepters and you can see right here that there's like a lot of royalty things that kind of went on with the Pikachu and as well as the other Pokemon that were in the merchandise. So that could very well be hinting at Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter, which could very well be the brand new Pokemon games that are going to be the 8th generation coming out later this year. The next thing is that if we take a look at the logo on the Game Freak website, you can see right here that there's a Pikachu holding a scepter. And also, if you guys didn't know, there's a lot of times that they do this where like they kind of have stuff on their official Game Freak website that hint at like future Pokemon games that are going to be coming out. Like even last year, there was a time where right before Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee were announced, they had a Pikachu and an Eevee right there on the official Game Freak website. So maybe that could be very well what's going on here where they're having a Pikachu with a scepter and later on they're going to reveal that those are the brand new games coming out later this year. Then the next thing are the crowns that are in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. So obviously in Pokemon Let's Go, if you guys don't know by now, you can customize your Pikachu and your Eevee and you can buy them like different clothing and stuff like that. And one of them is a crown that you can get and this I'm pretty sure is the most expensive accessory that you can buy for your Pikachu or Eevee in the entire game. I think it costs like 99999 or something like that. It's a very expensive piece that you could get but some people believe that maybe this could in fact be hinting at Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter. Now the reason that I'm saying this is that we know for a fact that Game Freak loves to put little hints and teases about their upcoming projects within their current projects. And the best example of this is with Pokemon X and Y. Now in Pokemon X and Y, there's a special item that you can receive from one of the trainers in the game, and this item is just called a strange souvenir. And if you took a look at it like within like the items menu where it like talked a little bit about what the item is, it just said here that it came from like a distant region that like no one knew about, and the image of the strange souvenir was like a tiki-like thing, and people just had no clue what what it was. Obviously once Pokemon Sun and Moon got revealed it all made sense because it was hinting at that Hawaiian type of region that turned out to be Alola. And finally the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is in regards to the brand new Pokemon Meltan. And I think that we can all agree that Meltan is still a very interesting Pokemon. Like this was just a brand new mythical Pokemon that they decided to reveal out of nowhere last year and it pretty much just started coming up with like Pokemon Go and stuff like that. Like it's still a very unusual and interesting Pokemon but the thing that I want to talk to you guys about is with the lore in regards to its Pokedex entry. So if we take a look at what it says here for the Pokedex entry, it says forever long ago for its capacity to create iron from nothing, for some reason it has come back to life after 3000 years. Now the thing that's interesting about this thing from the Pokedex is number one with the iron, it's talking about how iron could be like important in developing tools and machines and stuff like in the industrial revolution. And then if you guys remember, it says here that it came back to life after 3000 years. And if you played Pokemon X and Y, then 3000 years ago is exactly when this, the terrible war of Kalos happened and was ended with the ultimate weapon. Like this was talked about a lot if you played through Pokemon X and Y. And it says here that Meltan is brought back after 3000 years. 
Now because of how Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter are supposedly taking place in London, and obviously the Kalos region was based off of France, because of how London and France have a pretty big history, I feel like if they did make a Pokemon region in London, they would definitely make a lot of references to Kalos and the France stuff, so I feel like that would make a ton of sense, and maybe that's why they decided to make Meltan come back after 3000 years. I really feel like that the numbers that they come up with are for a reason, and they probably know like that's when the ultimate weapon ended and all that stuff, and it makes a ton of sense to have Meltan come back after 3000 years. I don't think that they just randomly think of a number and are like, okay, 3000 years sounds good enough, we'll just go with that for Meltan. I think that they do everything for a reason, and so this would make a ton of sense. And so there you go guys, that's all the information that we have right now about this potential leak slash rumor for Pokemon's 8th generation. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button, and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this. What do you guys think about Pokemon Crown and Pokemon Scepter? Would you be excited for those games depending on how they're sounding right now? Do you guys not like those? Definitely be sure to let me know all of your thoughts down below. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Pokemon content in the future, so please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at AtroArrow so you can be featured in videos, and also join my Discord server as well. We've got over a thousand people that are always here talking about Pokemon, Smash Bros, and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. And remember to enter my giveaway as well, I am giving away a code for 12 months of Nintendo Switch Online, so definitely be sure to click the link in the description or the pinned comment if you want to have a chance to win that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.